Hi, this is Ryan with Vortex Optics. Today we're going to talk about an important and often overlooked issue regarding rifle scope performance, and that is proper ring torque. You might think that to prevent your rifle scope from sliding loose during recoil, you would want to use as much force as possible to tighten the rings. However, this is not always the correct thing to do, as over tightened rings can actually impart damage on your rifle scope, possibly permanently. We'll show you exactly what that looks like a little bit later, but first let's take a look at what to do to properly tighten your rings for optimal optical performance. First things first, you want to make sure that you have the proper tool, in this case, an inch pounds torque wrench. If you're using Vortex Optics rings, we recommend that you use the torque wrench mounting kit shown here. It's very simple and easy to use, offers fast and easy adjustments, incrementally one inch pound at a time from 10 to 50. And of course, you'll need rings. And today we're going to demonstrate using the Vortex PMR and the Viper rings. While the techniques and torques we'll discuss are specific to Vortex models, they'll also apply to many other popular rings on the marketplace. So let's get started with tightening the Vortex PMR horizontally split rings. As you can see, I already have the lower half of the rings already mounted to the single piece Picatinny base, and the rifle scope has been properly aligned and leveled. If you have any questions about how to do this, please take a look at our how to mount a rifle scope video. Next, we want to secure the upper ring halves to the lower ring halves. Make sure to set the torque wrench at the proper torque value, in this case, we want to go between 15 and 18 inch pounds. Now, sometimes with larger, heavier rifle scopes, like the Razer HD 3 to 18 and 4.5 to 27 Generation 2, we could run a heavier ring torque up to 18 to 22 inch pounds. For the Vortex Viper series, Razer LHs, and other scopes, again, adhere to that 15 to 18 inch pound range for best performance. With horizontally split rings, tighten the ring screws in a crisscross pattern, the goal being to maintain an even gap between the top and bottom halves. Be sure all screws are fully tightened when this is complete. A general tendency when using a torque wrench is to run the torque all the way down, where in fact we should be doing this incrementally. I like to go about a quarter turn at a time until I feel good pressure on the screw head, at which point I'll can the torque wrench over, allowing it to snap at 15 inch pounds. Vertically split rings will require a slightly different tightening technique. Begin by fully tightening both top screws at 16 to 18 inch pounds, then tighten both bottom screws at the same 16 to 18 inch pounds. Be sure all screws are tight when complete. At this point, your rings have been tightened properly and you're set. Now that we've shown you some of the best practices regarding tightening your rings, we do want to talk a little bit about what can happen if you tighten rings without this proper technique. Applying slightly too much pressure to the scope tube can cause the erector tube and adjustment turrets to malfunction and the parallax adjustment cell to lock up, resulting in erratic tracking and parallax error. If you're seeing this happen, there is a quick remedy if the rifle scope is not permanently damaged. Just loosen the ring screws and start over, applying the proper torque. This will immediately release the pressure on the tube, allowing the rifle scope to track properly again. Tightening the screws well beyond the recommended torque specs can actually crush the tube. This will permanently damage your rifle scope, and in most cases it will likely need to be sent in and evaluated by our repair team. Over tightening can also be caused by using thread locker on the ring screws, so while it may seem tempting to use it, we would recommend against this. Well, that's about all on how to tighten your rifle scope rings. Again, when tightening the rings, make sure to follow the instructions that come with your rifle scope and don't over torque to prevent permanent damage. If you have any questions about tightening rings, what type of rings to get, or anything else, feel free to contact us via email or phone. We're always here to help.